welcome to the track. This is uh, a safe space here for students here at ACU to uh, hang out, play some sport, watch some sport on TV, um, yeah, and make new friends. And also to add to this video, this is a place where we have our lectures. This is something uh, I missed in my first video. So yeah, this is the Cathedral Hall or the ACU Lecture Hall. Who doesn't need some free cotton candy? From cotton candy to muffins to wall planners, they got everything down at the orientation for 2021 at the Australian Catholic University. And I'm here to give out some information about nursing because from my last video where I gave you a tour of the university, a lot of people asked me about nursing because a lot of people back in Sri Lanka is interested to do nursing as a course. So right now I am at the rooftop garden so if you guys want to know where I am in the uni you can just check out my last video where I gave you a walkthrough of the whole uni. So the main thing people asked about was about the course. In general, I'm, without getting into the specifics, the course here is really good. Uh, basically they, as a university they give a lot of focus to the nursing program because that's one of their main programs here at the Australian Catholic University. And the course fee is around 28,000 mark, as I remember, and it increases every year by 1,000, just as any other uni. Uh, but uh, the entry, if you talk about the entry, I'll tell that you can come here through advanced levels. You can get the specific uh, requirements uh, through the website. And other than uh, doing advanced level back, in Sri Lanka you can also try other institutes because there's a lot of institutes which they recognize so me personally I came through ACBT which is quite famous in Sri Lanka and uh, I got a 50% scholarship because in Melbourne getting a 50% scholarship is not easy as in the other states because the universities here are competitive and as far as I know it's just D King and uh, ACU which gives a 50% and D King assesses you a lot for their 50% so they take your uh, sports, uh, they take your extracurricular activities, they consider you as the whole package when they give the 50%. Australian Catholic University on the other hand they just look academically there's nothing else which can uh, entice them so academically they'll be looking at your last two years of uh, studies and they'll be checking how you performed so that's why I feel like more than doing advanced levels, if, you're, if you really want the scholarship, try to do something like ACBT as well because it, it'll help you when you show them the averages. So basically I had averages around 90% for the foundation and around 80s for the diploma and that considered as my two years of studies and uh, that was enough to me to land the scholarship. So basically it comes down to numbers so if you have more than 85 percent you've got a good chance of getting the 50 percent scholarship and that helps you a lot because it brings down your annual fee for around 14,000 a year which is i mean pretty good and other than that the course is really well structured the lecturers are amazing here and the placements are well rostered so i've already been rostered uh, 
to my placement even with covid they've kept on doing the intensives so there's nothing to worry about and i this is just my knowledge uh, like acu graduate nurses have been heavily recognized among many universities even you know hospitals like st vincent's which is right next door they have high regard for nurses that acu produces so uh, just an advice for everyone who's they like, tapped into my log and from Sri Lanka especially even if you're international that's fine uh, yeah try to uh, consider what I said about averages do your studies well obviously uh, try to get that high averages because I feel like even doing a course like at ACBT or any other place uh, it might be tough for you even if it's not just don't like do it like you know just for the sake of it try to put in a lot of effort and when you put in that effort during those one to two years at that institute back home you can get a huge benefit because it's not just about the fees reduction around 50 percent uh that by the way that's the only score they give here uh other than that you'll have to go to the full course fee it's not just thing but being a scholarship student helps you keep up standard because you'll always make sure you have more than 65 percent average when you come here you will always maintain a good average and this will help you when you graduate because if you're not a scholarship student i, I personally don't have that push because there's this uh, standard we need to maintain so and also there's a lot of chances to you know socialize uh, for an example the track melbourne gives you a lot of good exciting uh, trips etc so i've been to two beach days and apart from beach days i'm thinking of their skydiving coming up and there's a lot of other exciting events other than that uh, there is a lot of clubs so we have the outdoor club which has an annual snow trip which i'm excited about the st patrick student association which is amazing it's the basically the club which has all the fun nights you know the grad ball and then you know a lot of parties and all that which is pretty fun so you know you have that social life and you know that doing nursing at ACU as I said the study side is also pretty good and yeah so that's about it if you have any questions you can just drop a comment and I'll try to get it in my next video so goodbye from Melbourne for now